I would love to get both your input on the current debate in Silicon Valley around founder mode. I don't think there's an argument. I don't think it was his best essay. It just sounded glib. I don't even know what it means. I think Mike nailed it. We are founder friendly, but you got to understand that we're going to have to be talking together in 17 years. Hopefully we'll stay friends and become founder friends, but I got to return money to my LPs. I just don't feel like people are getting the right message about that. So It reminds me of like when people say disagreeable people are hard to deal with and they're unpleasant and stuff like that. But, you know, if you're overly agreeable, it's just a different type of inauthenticity. I think that you want to be authentic, right? You want to have an authentic relationship with the founders because the fact is, if they take money, they should care about a return for their investors, just like I do for mine. And that's just business 101. That's just laws of space, time, and gravity and running a startup. And so, like, they need to care about that. Otherwise, they shouldn't raise the money. And I need to be honest about that fact. And I'm not being friendly or unfriendly by saying that. I'm just telling them the truth, right? Right about stuff. But I do think that what the founders really benefit most from, I think, is when they can trust their investor, when they know where they stand, when people don't change their mind over capricious things. They know what needs to happen to be successful. And you're not changing the rules on them all the time because you got ADD and you change your mind from one meeting to the next. My short answer, Parekh, is that it should be investor mode. I think that we've swung the pendulum too far in favor of the founder and people need to be writing about how to be a good investor because it takes two to tango and it seems like the founders are leading and you need good investors defining some boundaries and people have forgotten about the lps now i mean you know, granted we got a lot of dumb lps because of zerp and and all the other things but it's still no excuse we got to bring back more mike maples is what i would say and I will second investor mode. I love the phrase, Howard. I think you're onto something. And I will also speak for the public side because of my background. Investor mode also means single tier tech stocks. This notion of 10 to 1 governance rights to founders, that was also, in my view, of a, a pendulum swinging too, too much one or the other. Because companies are going to become what they are. It'll take them 20, 30 years. And you need all investors to be on the same level and equality. I actually kind of liked the founder mode essay. But, you know, Perhaps I'm talking my book because I like doing things with YC, but like I thought that there is a tendency in some companies when they try to scale, quote unquote scale, to overly abstract management. And I think that to me, founder mode was sort of like, it's similar to investor mode in the sense that you're not going to outperform the average by doing general management. You're going to create general results that are sort of more within the average. And so I think that the founder mode, one way to look at it is the founder has to be the last last word on what does outperformance look like. That's for products, that's for returns, that's for everything about the company since their company. I do think that there were some some ideas in that essay that had a lot of merit to them. It struck a nerve for a reason, right? A lot of people were talking about it for a reason. <laughs> <laughs>